Hi everyone, I am Haritha KS, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering is an IT ADU. I am dealing with the subject CE 3 note Transportation Engineering 1, KTU Civil Engineering 6 semester subject. So now we are studying the fifth module. We have completed the first portion. Now we are studying Airport Engineering. In last class, we have studied an introduction to Airport Engineering also various factors that affect the site selection for airport. Today, we will discuss various aircraft characteristics and their influence on airport planning. Various aircraft characteristics include aircraft capacity, aircraft speed, aircraft weight, fuel spilling, jet blast, minimum circling radius, Minimum turning radius, noise, range, size, takeoff and landing distance, type of propulsion, tire pressure, and contact area. First, aircraft capacity. It means number of passengers, baggage, cargo, and fuel that can be accommodated in the aircraft. Terminal facilities should be planned to receive aircraft of highest capacity. Next, aircraft speed. It means speed of aircraft. There are two types of speed according to this, air speed and ground speed. Air speed is the speed of aircraft relative to the speed of air. Ground speed, speed relative to the ground. Next, weight of aircraft. It govern the length and thickness of runway. Maximum gross takeoff weight means the maximum load the aircraft is certified to carry during takeoff and payments are designed for this. Next, maximum structural landing weight. It's a difference between gross takeoff weight and weight of fuel consumed during the trip. Next, operating empty weight. It's the weight of an aircraft including crew. It does not include payload and fuel load. Next, payload. Revenue producing load which include passengers, baggage, mail and cargo. Zero fuel weight. It's the weight other than fuel. Next, fuel spilling. Spilling of fuel and lubricant will affect the bituminous payment. Jet blast. Ejection of hot exhaust gas at high velocity will affect the payment. Next, minimum circling radius. It's a minimum radius in space required for smooth turn in space before landing. It will affect the distance between two adjacent airports. Next, minimum turning radius. Minimum turning radius of aircraft in ground affect the radius of taxiway design. Noise. Noise due to machinery and jet. During takeoff, the important is noise due to jet. While landing, Noise due to machinery. Range. It's a distance that can fly without refueling. Next, takeoff and landing distance. Distance required for takeoff and landing. And it affects the minimum runway length. Type of propulsion. Type of propulsion or method of propulsion adopted affect the size, speed, weight carrying capacity, circling radius, etc. Tire pressure and contact area. It will affect the type and strength of the payment required. Finally, size of aircraft. There are many terms that are included in this term size. Fuselage length will affect the widening of curve size of apron and hangers. Gear thread is the distance between main gear and govern the minimum turning radius. Height will affect the height of hanger gate. 
Tail width will affect the size of parking and apron. Wheel base affect the minimum radius of taxiway. Wingspan govern the width of taxiway, size of apron and hanger, etc. So these are the main important aircraft characteristics that affect the airport planning. So finally concluding, in this short lecture we have studied various aircraft characteristics and their influence on airport planning. So we have studied mainly aircraft capacity, speed, weight, fuel spilling, jet blast, minimum circling radius, turning radius, noise range, size of aircraft, takeoff and landing distance, type of propulsion, tire pressure and contact area. So uh, description of aircraft, aircraft characteristics is an important question for the university. So please study.